This is the unboxing of the Crosswave Hydra Steam Plus by Bissell. I'll show you how to use it and how to clean it and set it up. And it really does live up to the hype. The Hydra Steam technology, the tangle free brush, the multi surface cleaning, the light, and the self cleaning cycle. And I'll show you all of that. I just got my Bissell Crosswave Hydro Steam Plus. I have the Crosswave just the regular crosswave and I love it. The corner of it broke after a couple years and I am not easy with this stuff. So I was, I thought I got one of these words. Enough so that I purchased this as a replacement. Here we go. Your manual registration. Small sample bottle of each. Exactly like the other Bissell. And this is where your water, your mixed solution goes for cleaning. Here it is. Handle. It's not very heavy. Here is the clean dish. I think that's just a holder. It's another sample multi surface cleaner. Oh, I gave you a lot of that. Hard floor sanitizer, two bottles. Here are the filters. In these last months or so, and they gave me three of those. Oh, the rollers on this are much bigger than the other one. And they're a little bit different. The other one, it just attaches one end's like this, and one end has a an out cert thing. This looks like they have the a different kind. Okay, then you just step back. It's pretty. Okay, and handle. How hard was that? <laughs> okay, there's the filter. Make sure you just take them out like this to clean it. Um, this one you can pull out the hair and stuff. I have um, two dogs, large dogs. One's a shepherd mix, sheds a lot, and a very hairy cat that sheds everywhere. So usually when I vacuum, I mean the bottom portion is solid wet hair. This doesn't look like a lot, but when the hair gets wet, it really crunches down. So, you know, normally my big vacuum would be full, but because it's wet, okay, it's got the roller in there. I'm gonna get the other unit just to compare and show you what it looks like. The other unit has been used at least three, four times a week, usually more. And in addition to the floors, I have hardwood floors, very large rooms, 40 by 40, and a kitchen. And then I use it on the carpeted areas as well. I mean, it really fluffs up the carpeting. Okay, I'll get the other one and we can compare it. Here is the old one. You can see the brush and it just kind of pulls out. What broke on here, um, the end right there, it's still usable, but figure when this end goes, it's gonna be the pits. <laughs> and then you just kind of put it on there. 
clamp it down. And then here, it's got a much longer cord. And this is slightly bigger. The motor is definitely bigger. Let's see here. Plug it in and we'll just run the vacuum real fast, see what it does, okay? start guide okay press power press mode button to switch between modes um, mode selection illuminates on the foot display okay. right there okay. I feel pretty close to the same way Though the roller is the same size. This one, even though it's broken, it still does a great job. That one. Now here, this one. definitely heavier when you're pushing it it's much heavier than this one though it doesn't feel heavier I have a review on that one and I show you how to use it how to clean it and what it does so um, I'll put a link for that okay now I'm gonna wash it out uh, this is clean water put it right here and I'm gonna set it in the tray there. Here. Once everything's all in place, I just push this button and it starts to clean it. finished. I'll just pull this out. Pull that out. Um, you can pull this out and everything looks good there. Just get everything in between there. And then just set it back in. And then I'll pull out the dirty water. And you can see all the hair in there. I mean, it's nasty. And you pull up the the filter and there's hair there and just clean all this out. Okay, and you pull out the little basket full of hair and just chunk it. We have two large dogs and one cat and they shed constantly. And then the rest I'll empty out and clean. Here are the pieces. They all go back in. It's, it's really easy, easy to clean. So your filter thing goes back there. This goes there and you've got um, grooves that line it up. Make sure it's in there and then your filter fits in only one way. And that's good. And you put the tray back, it clamps right in, right here, and that's it.
I usually let this sit to dry out before I put it back. So I give it a definite thumbs up, two thumbs up. 